What up, man? I'll see your boy, Shotgun 360 from Manos.com, and here we go with some tournament gameplay. We're actually playing with a money uh, a money game, a gamer salon, so we're going to go ahead and show you guys our adjustments and what we're doing on defense. This is going to be a defensive video, so uh, you might see a little bit of offense here. What I'm doing here is actually using the tournament offense, which is already at Manos.com. It's actually the best offense in Madden, guys, to be honest. This is the best offense in Madden. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and, as you guys can see here, coming out in zone coverage, we're going to go ahead and make... A read and we're gonna go ahead and just run it to the outside for a nice game here we go with the top strong close formation and we get the touchdown so let's go ahead and go to the cream of the crop what we want to talk about we're gonna go ahead and make uh put our fastest guys right here on the defensive line that's what i like to do i like to adjust my players notice that i'm gonna go ahead and put my fastest player here at defensive end and then the second fastest uh put them at defensive tackles that's basically what i'm doing in case you want to get the concept that's what i'm doing here with the seattle seahawks and i like them because they have some of the fastest uh, defense uh, outside linebackers that uh, get in there quick. So notice that we're gonna go ahead and set up a run stopper. He decides to run to the middle, but we got him there, and we got him good. So here we go. Once again, uh, as you guys can see here, we're coming on into the second quarter, and we need to stop him. Uh, this is actually for a $10 money game. So we're gonna go ahead and move this guy to the outside, move him down, and just to stop the run. And we get stuck right there on the linebacker, but he comes out in a. Uh, I think that was a halfback draw. So I don't know why he, this guy came out and had back draw because that shit doesn't work anymore. So we're going to go ahead and put this guy in a deep blue. Put this guy to the outside just in case he goes to the outside. Got the middle linebacker lurking. He's coming down the middle and we get him with a nasty blitz and we sack him right there. So that's what we wanted to do. As you guys can see that we're going to go ahead and adjust one more time. Put this guy in a purple. Put this guy right here in a deep blue just in case. Set up the blitz and we're going to lurk in. He's coming down the middle of the field. Notice that he decides to run to the outside. We hit him with square. That's why I love hitting him with square, guys. I, I, I posted a video how to do the hit stick. That's the hit stick right there. That's where I get where I get the fumbles, and that's why I like the Seahawks because they create fumbles. Notice this guy's coming out in max coverage. He has like around three down linemen right here, and uh, definitely no pressure. So I just decided to run with Russell Wilson. And now I run the ball right here with Rawls, and we're gonna go ahead and punch it in with uh, Coleman. So you guys can see here we're up in this game 14-0. So let's go ahead and talk about defense once again. Coming out in the dime formation. Uh, actually, I think the nickel 335 wide, which is actually in the new tournament defensive guide that I posted at manhouse.com. I definitely have all the setups there, the concepts, etc. It has a really great max coverage. I also like the dollar so uh, formation, and that's why I like to use this defense because it does send a nice B gap and it also uh, works pretty good against the run. So I went ahead and put this guy to the outside just in case he comes out in a toss. And we're going to go ahead and lurk anything coming across like those uh, right there. As you guys can see here, I took his read. I think he wanted to go to the tight end on the on that corner route, so I, I was reading pretty good there, and we got him uh, for a nice, uh, you know, uh, sack. There, well, actually, we didn't sack him, so he, you know, we got an incomplete pass because we he threw it right before the sack. So we're gonna go ahead and set up here, setting up the blitz. We're gonna go ahead and uh, pinch, we blitz the DT. We're gonna go ahead and lurk right here with the middle linebacker, and we just uh, here. Uh, as you guys can see there, that's also the routes that we need to take care of a little bit more. So I didn't know if he was gonna do that route, but I was kind of expecting it, but I didn't, I didn't, because uh, he was coming on split close. So uh, those are the routes that you had to look for. And I didn't, I was I was more concerned of anything coming down the middle. So uh, definitely gonna go ahead and switch some people up here. And as you guys can see there, we have our defense set and we're gonna go ahead and see if this time we get to the outside in case he's coming on again in split close formation. Gonna go ahead and revisit the defense attack. I'll put this guy in purple. And I'm gonna go ahead and look in the middle of the field there. He drops the ball and we got like around 31 seconds left in the clock. So we can't let him get a field goal. That's what I don't want. I don't want him to get a field goal, but we're gonna set it up one, one more time. As you guys can see there, we're gonna go ahead and set up the blitz. You guys can see, and we get the, the, the blitz to come in there because he's coming out on the screen, and we get him uh, because everybody's mad. So, third and 14, he's still gonna go ahead and try to pass. Let's see what he's gonna do now. Again, coming on the same defense, we're gonna go ahead and set it up. We blitz the DT right here, put this guy to the outside, and we're gonna with the middle linebacker. And as you guys can see there, anything coming across, I got, he goes deep. And, uh, nope, nothing there. So we got him locked down, guys. There's no way he ain't gonna do it. He's gonna do anything right now. We got him locked down, and uh, we're doing a job on defense. That's what we want. We want him to start throwing a desperate passes deep. He's gonna come out in 3-4 solid. A 3-4 solid is pretty good because I like the two men under. I think it's a really solid two. I mean, uh, cover two. For some reason, this cover two is really hard to be deep. Uh, even if I, in my last video I posted, uh, the lob street glitch uh, cannot work against this defense for some reason. So, we're gonna go ahead and set up the blitz here. We blitz the TT, come on down the middle, some blitz comes in, but he blocks extra guys. 
and nothing there. Fourth and 14. We get the ball back and we're gonna go ahead and get at least a, a field goal uh, here if we get it there. But I throw deep, I try to use or catch it, and he got me there for a pick. But guess what? This guy um, decides to go for it at the very end, and we're playing actually max coverage, and he's just gonna go ahead and sack his ass for two points. 16 0 in this game. Here we go, one more defensive series. Gonna go ahead and adjust coming out in 4-3. So I like to adjust between different defenses. Notice that I came out in 3-4 solid on the 3 wide. And this time we send the blitz coming out the edge on the left side of the field. And uh, we get the, the blitz right here for a nice sack. Second and 17. Let's see what he does. We're gonna go ahead and adjust. We're gonna go ahead and man up the slot receiver over here on the left. And uh, set up our blitz uh, and lurk with the middle linebacker. Anything coming across, any seams or any corner routes or post routes coming down the middle. So again, we locked him out pretty good. What we gotta worry about, especially against this formation, is the verticals. He doesn't want to go deep. Uh, we have to actually, uh, you know, uh, man any slot receiver in the middle because that shit's gonna be cover three, and we like to come out and cover three a lot. So one of the things that he's coming out of here is a lot of split calls, and then he just goes uh, like five wide, and it's really uh, not that hard to lock those formations down. Now that we know how to adjust to those type of formations. So this guy decided to punt, we're gonna go ahead and run it to the outside and uh, try to get at least uh, one more score here and uh, waste some clock. So we, we got him on the clock. Once we got him on the milk clock, that's pretty much it. It's over. I don't think he has a chance to win the game. I could just kick a field goal and relax. And as you guys can see here, we get another score in. And this is like the dagger right here. 23 to zero in this game, he's coming out once again on offense and we're lurking with defense. This is the nastiest touchdown. We hit him there and we just get on the right spot to catch it before it hits the ground and that's pretty much it. Game over, opponent quits, and we're gonna get paid. So guys, uh, go check out that tournament defensive guide at manos.com if you guys need any help. Feel free to let me know here in the comment section. I am giving away one of them by this weekend. So uh, we'll see you guys later. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. We are also gonna have the annual fourth, actually fifth Halloween tournament at manos.com. Go ahead and register. I'll go ahead and open up the registration today. And make sure you guys go check that out. Later, it's your boy Shocker Tuesday from Metal Don't forget to subscribe down here below for more tips, more strategies, more schemes, more gameplays, more tournaments, and more giveaway prices. Later, it's your boy Shocker 360. Hit that like button. Don't forget, comment, and subscribe.